Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I would finish up this little mini series on dehydrating with a quick talk about how I would put together and store my ingredients for making a camp meal. Now behind me I've got a vacuum food sealer and some of the ingredients we've already dehydrated and essentially that's how I would look to store them to live in my backpack whether that's for a short or for a long period. Um, ready for going out, you know, bushcrafting, camping and that kind of thing. So let me move the camera just a little bit closer in and I'll show you what it is we're going to do. Right then guys, so here is my vacuum sealer. Um, it's a cheap and cheerful one. It's made by a company called JML who are quite popular here in the UK. I'm not sure if you get them overseas, uh, but they're essentially one of those kind of as seen on TV kind of brands. Um, and it does two things. You can either just seal or you can vacuum and seal and you use rolls of these kind of clear bags. I don't think they're mylar, um, but they are pretty good. I've, I've kept stuff in these for very, very long periods. Now what I've done is I've pre-cut one here and I have sealed, hopefully you can see there, I've sealed one end, it's just a bit of a heat seal. Um, and what I'm gonna do is open this up and start filling it with the ingredients I'm going to use um, for my little camp meal. Now we've got our dehydrated mints, we've got dehydrated red onion, mushroom, and red and green peppers. Now this bowl of mints is essentially 750 grams of mint. Now in theory that should serve four people. Um, normally I would say it'd serve three, um, but because it's for a camp meal, I tend not to eat quite so much when I'm out. So I am just gonna put probably a quarter of this in, something like that. Should have got a bigger spoon, really. So that's probably about a quarter of this. That's probably a bit much. That's probably about a quarter. You know, filling up the bottom third of that bag. And I'm going to take a handful of these mushrooms, a handful of the peppers, throwing the onion everywhere and although it looks like quite a small amount in here at the moment you need to remember is that when these rehydrate these will gain size now you'll notice when I dehydrated all this I didn't season anything um, and that's because I like to add my seasoning when I rehydrate it so a generous slug of salt and pepper goes in there now that's all I really want for this, um, but you know, you can add anything you want, dehydrated garlic, powdered garlic. In fact, actually, do you know what? Just looking over to the side here, I've got some garlic and herb salt. So we'll add some of that in as well, why not? Um, but you know, you can add anything you like at this stage, um, as long as it is dry, and that's the important thing. You don't want to be adding anything wet into here. Uh, I mean, I have made kind of uh, full English breakfast fry ups and put them in these slightly frozen them and then vacuum sealed them and that that works but only if you're going to be using it within the next few days or so um, so moving on to the ceiling make sure you can see this all right so essentially most vacuum sealers work the same way you've got a little lift up flap here you will line up your uh, little pouch make sure it stays where it's supposed to clamp this down now mine is a little bit temperamental sometimes when i vacuum it and seal it it works sometimes i have to press the sealing button as well so we'll see how it goes and you should be able to see all of the air being sucked out here we have a nice packed really really lightweight you know I could if I had the balance right I could balance this on a finger it weighs nothing at all it's all nice and packed in there and as long as you don't have anything particularly sharp you know the mint isn't particularly bad um, the veg seems all right sometimes certain bits of veg can come or become really sharp when they're dehydrated but this all looks fine and this will sit there and keep in one of my packs or a cupboard or what have you for months and months and months um, without the need to, uh, to, to worry about doing anything with it. 
So there you go guys, that is how I will seal up this kind of camp meal, you know, ready to go. All you need to do essentially is chuck it in a pot, just add some water, let it de uh, rehydrate, um, and then get it under a heat source just to sort of cook it through. Um, and that will be a really, really nice kind of mince and vegetable stew, or you can, you can use a little bit less water or boil some of that water off, and it will be more like a, um, a kind of a, you know, a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, like a bolognese minus the pasta, you know, obviously you can add pasta and things like that in with it as well, or rice, spaghetti, anything along those lines. Also worth mentioning that this is also how I will package things like my biltong and jerky. This will stay in here, probably not for very long knowing me because I tend to plow through this stuff uh, really quickly, but you know, I can keep this in here, keep it stored away, um, and in theory, this has got a much, much longer shelf life now um, than it would do if I just left it in an open bag, um, you know, or, or just out on the side. Um, so that's it for this series. I hope it was useful, guys. A few of you had asked about some dehydrating recipes, so I thought I'd oblige. Um, if there are any you want me to try, by all means, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm, you know, I'm, I tend to stick with what I know when it comes to dehydrating. You know, there are certain things that work really well for me and that's what I tend to do. I don't experiment that much, but you know, if you guys want to see me try something, I'll more than happily give it a go. Um, and that's it for today. So comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope you'll all join me next time. Cheers, guys.